Right, hi YouTube, um, this is a quick update video of my Vitus Nucleus 2021 model VRS27. Now, it's after a few upgrades I've done. Um, basically, the first upgrade I've done was I changed the pedals to DMR V8s, and it was gold ones I had on it first, but they were for actually for another bike. And I've now bought the electric red ones, as you can see. The It's quite a good match between the frame and the pedal, so I'm pretty happy with that. The second upgrade I've done was I bought a new seat, and it's a Cell Italia XPX3 seat, because the Nuke Proof Neutron one it was crippling me, it was really really sore on me, so maybe other guys will find it better, but it, it was no use for me, so I've changed this to this Cell Italia, um, it gets a good review, it was £45 from Halfords, um, so we'll see how we go with that. Subsequently the pedals were actually £35, and that's from my local bike shop. Right, the third thing I've done is I've basically upgraded and I've bought this same um, Suntari Sinatra um, dropper post, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, it's a 150mm drop um, and it cost me, it was a bargain, I got it from eBay for £86 and that was delivered and it was ordered on the 27th of December and it arrived the 6th of January. Um, subsequently somebody has actually asked me about it and I went back to check and from my, the same seller it has now went up by £15, up to £100, even at that I would say it's a bargain. I would rate the dropper post a 10 out of 10 if it wasn't for one weak point on it. Um, but the weak point, I'll rate it 7. The weak point to me is the lever. The actual lever, I think, it works okay, but it's a little, in, in there, it's a very small grub screw that holds the cable in place and I don't trust it. I think eventually that, that grub screw will um, round off as you maybe want to loosen the cable or something or do something else again, I think it's going to round off and I don't trust it, so I've ordered a different lever, I've ordered a Zito dropper post lever, it seems to fix the cable onto a better way, so that's where I've done that, I've seen a few reviews and guys like them, so that's where I've got that. The actual adjustment part of the cable is, is excellent, it's good. The whole lot of it is really good quality, apart from that lever. And basically, as I was going to say, it's it's an insertion of 250 mil. So basically, it's, the dropper post says it's 430 in length, and that is from the bracket here to the flat part at the bottom, at the very bottom. And, but that's not including the internal cable routing um, part, that's just the, the tube from there to the bottom of the tube it's 430mm so basically if you take away the 150 drop that leaves 280 and you leave that there which is 30mm that leaves 250 and basically it sticks up out my frame round about I would say 30mm so basically my frame takes an insertion of round about 230-220mm. So basically this dropper post is in my frame to here. It just starts to bend. That's it hard down, that's as far as it will go down. So bear that in mind when you buy a dropper post, see what the insertion of it is. Because if you get a dropper post that's got an insertion of something like 300mm, it's going to be sticking out your frame to be up here. And then after that you're going to have your dropper post, so basically that would be no use I don't think, so bear that in mind when you go and buy a dropper post, look at the insertion of it. Um, but yeah, it's, 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 a good, it's a good dropper post, the thing with this is as well, if I'll just show you, I'm trying to hold, I'm, basically I've got really bad lighting in here, and I'm trying to hold a torch, and hold this camera, and try to do all these things at once, and it doesn't seem to be working out too well for me. Right. The thing about that dropper post is, it's not all the way down there, I've locked it in place and you can use it in any position of the travel. As soon as you leave go of the lever, it stops, it locks it in place, so it does. So basically you can use it halfway up, all the way up, all the way down, whatever, it doesn't matter. As soon as you leave go of that lever, it, it locks it in place, that's the good thing about it. The other thing is as well, there's the action of it, it's quite a smooth action, it's not, it doesn't rock it up, it, doesn't, it comes up nice and slow and gradual. 
So, yeah, I'm very happy with it, and I think for £86, I think it's a bargain. It's MD looking for a job per post, even at £100, I would say it's a bargain. Maybe I have to buy another lever. Well, I'm just being pernickety with the lever. I think the lever, I dare say it would probably be okay, and will be okay. I just don't trust it, and that's why I'm getting a, I've, I've got one coming that takes a better being grabbing onto the cable. Just for peace of mind, because um, another thing as well, a wee tip for you, watch your cable length when you fit it. Basically, uh, the way I've done this is I've done it so that I, when I take off that clamp, that just clamps on, green to, 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 to grips off the, the lever. If I just basically unglue the clamp and push the cable down to here, basically, down to that part, I can pull the dropper post all the way out and get it off basically. So that's something to watch for as well when you go to fit an internal cable drop post. You want, you should be able to get a dropper post out without cutting cables and stuff like that. You don't want to be cutting a cable every time you want to do something. You maybe have some unknown reason to take that off or something and you have to end up cutting cables and that. You don't want to be doing that. Um, and this bike as well, the Nucleus, um, it's very easy to fit a dropper post. Basically it goes in here and comes out down to the bottom there and you can see there's a black a black grommet that comes out and it elongates the the hole and it makes it very easy. And it basically goes under the bottom bracket and in into the seat tube and all. But yeah, that's just a few upgrades. I've maybe got one or two upgrades more else to do. I've maybe gonna change the grips to DMR death grips or maybe Ergon GD ones. I haven't made up my mind yet. And I will probably go tubeless. Right, there's a lot of hanging here with these tyres. Vitus and Chain Reaction say the wheels are tubeless ready, which they are. They're tubeless ready, the wheels, but the tyres are not tubeless ready. Although, you can put them to tubeless if you wish, but you won't be able to run on insanely low pressures. Because tubeless tyre, tubeless ready tyres, the sidewalls are a lot stiffer right so that you can low run on low pressures i.e wtb vigilante stay this tire here costs round about 30 pounds see for the tubeless ready one you're talking about 60 pounds you're talking about double the money for a tubeless ready tire the same although these can be made tubeless and i'm going to make them tubeless and i'm not going to change the tires it'll be the same tires and i'm going to do it tubeless because it can be done but like i said you can't get the full benefit of what you would out of a proper tubeless tyre. Okay, right, thanks guys, bye.